All right, I'm here with Francesco Reddy. Hey, hey, no baloney, no baloney. Now, today we're going to open some hearts. Now, this is not, this is not like a uh, Francesco Reddy experiment. We're just a demo. We're just opening hearts. But we are going to do Francesco Reddy style experiment with hearts. So we're going to change one variable to see affects the other. But let's today just concentrate on how hearts are built. And then we'll go into more of how we can affect how they work. All right, let's go. Mr. Kovacs Glass. It's Mr. Kovacs Glass. You might learn on tour. It's Mr. Kovacs Glass. He's interested too. It's Mr. Kovacs Glass. And he's super cool. It's Mr. Kovacs Glass. So our AA people are doing this today. They'll be handling the hearts. BBs will be handling the hearts on Thursday. Um be a different part one then too but it'll be again kind of reviewing the parts of the heart so so our learning targets tuesday and thursday are by the end of thursday we should know all the different parts of the heart ventricles atria and the major blood vessels that go in and out okay so that's what we're going for today all right so we're going to open up some hearts today i think i mentioned this but minimal hearts all work the same this is um this is a cow heart look at that it's huge way bigger than mine okay so it would work in my body it just would be too big it probably wouldn't fit very well our hearts are about right that's about fist size and um what's cool about a model is that everything's like a nice different color what you'll see about the hearts real hearts is everything's kind of the same color now these hearts won't be red what makes hearts red is blood hey everybody all of these hearts that we're going to look at today, including like this cow heart, there's no more blood in any of the tissue. So it doesn't look red. So what makes blood red and what makes hearts look red is blood cells like little red. Hey, everybody. And they're red because they carry a little, um, they have a little uh, molecule called hemoglobin. That's hemoglobin, everybody. And it contains iron. And whenever iron, of course, is, uh, binds with oxygen, you get ferrous oxide or rust. So your blood is rusting away. That's why it looks red. That's why it looks red, everybody. All right, let's, let's get a heart and open it up. Hey, look, I got my heart. Bottoms, bottoms up, no, bottom, bottoms up, bottoms down. So this, this heart is a sheep, but um, it's the same size as mine. So it would work in my body for sure. Now the heart, of course, the downside is just the pointy side. The top side is all, got all the business going on to it. So we're gonna look inside of this heart. What we should see is like my model heart here. Um, it's hollow because its job is just to pump blood. And so we're gonna find as many of the different parts and see if we can find the big blood vessels. The heart uh, is preserved, right? So it doesn't rot or go bad. Um, so it's been soaked in a preservative. Um, and that's what you smell if you're in here. Um, and that's why I'm wearing gloves. Okay. All right. So we're going to um, look at these hearts. So, right. We've already determined, let's see, uh, up and down. So the pointy end is the downside of the heart. All the action takes place on the upside of the heart. Okay, if you look at your heart, uh, if you look at a heart, you can see these two little like, little like flaps on the top. Those are the atria, the atriums. Okay, so their job is to receive blood coming in. They inflate like balloons. They're muscular, but they're very weak. So that's why they're so flimsy. And you can see all these holes and things. Those are blood vessels coming out of the heart. And then most of the meat of the heart is the, are the ventricles. The ventricles, for sure. This yellow stuff on the outside, that's fat, actually, adipose tissue. Um, and that's important for the heart. It serves as an insulator, not only to protect the heart, but also to... Um, help transmit electrical impulses. All right, so uh, to figure out right and left of the heart, we have to go actually inside. I'm cutting from the other side. This ventricle right here, it's hollow on the inside. And then the other ventricle, right next door, is also hollow on the inside. 
In fact, if you were to stick one finger in each ventricle and pinch, you'd be pinching the septum or the wall of muscle separating right from left. Now we have learned by now, hopefully, that the strongest part of the heart is the left side because it's got to push blood everywhere. So to tell the difference between right from left, we have to look at the walls of the ventricles, right? We actually have to figure how thick they are. This ventricle, this ventricle, if we measure it, 10 millimeters, I'm sorry, 13 millimeters thick. This ventricle over here, if we measure it, measure that with the caliper. That's only six, it's less than half the thickness. So this has to be the left side, this has to be the right side. Now, if we know that, if we can find the atria sitting on top, the one on the right side would be the right atrium, the one on the left side would be the left atrium. Let's see, uh, blood vessels. Okay, notice no blood vessels come out the bottom. So when the heart squeezes, blood comes out the, the top. Let's see, let's go to the left, left ventricle and see if we can't find the biggest blood vessel there is. There it is. Okay, notice I stuck my finger right through. That is the aorta. I had to pass my finger through a valve back, or well, through my valve forwards to get out the aorta, aorta. A huge blood vessel, like the size of a garden hose. If I do the same thing, if I push through the valve on this side, on the right side, I get a different blood vessel. This is the uh, pulmonary artery. It's going to the, to the lungs. When Little Red is on the left side, he's happy because he's full of oxygen. When he's on the right side, he's sad, everybody. All right, so in class today, um, you're gonna handle the heart. We are all, the people here are gonna to find all these different parts of the heart. Um, and then the people remotely will just watch this video and watch me in class. And then today's part two is you're gonna label a diagram of the heart, the different parts of it. You're looking for things like valves and aorta and arteries and atria and ventricles. And then part three, you're gonna watch yet another, somebody else dissecting a heart for sure. All right, so um, one quick thing. I'm wearing gloves not because it feels gross. I mean, look, there's no blood. I'm wearing gloves because there's preservative on this heart and the preservative um, is, is best if you don't get, it's not terrible, but if you don't get, you wanna try to limit the amount on your skin, all right? So uh, when we're done with the hearts, you need to take your gloves off. When you take gloves off, um, you need to take them off a certain way, okay? And I'll show you how to do that uh, in a minute. All right, to take off your gloves, this is good to know whether you've touched the heart or not, or uh, gloves are good PPE, right? But the purpose of a glove is to keep things off of you but the things are still on the glove. Okay, so that's why using gloves, if you're gonna use gloves, you need to change them often because like right now I've got heart juice all over my hands and if I start touching things, I'm gonna transfer it to that. So we don't wanna do that, right? I just wanted to keep it off my hand. So taking off the glove, let's see, I'm right-handed. The first thing I do is I use my right hand and I, I pull my left I guess, I guess it doesn't matter what hand you use. I pull my left glove off, okay? I have not touched the outside of the glove. My hand feels a little sweaty. I take that glove and I put it in the palm. See that, it's in the palm of my other gloved hand, which is my right hand. And now this is a real trick to remove that glove without touching the outside of the glove. I'm gonna go underneath and I'm gonna peel it inside out off my head. Look at that. See, now I have a glove within a glove and I never touch the outside of the glove. And then this goes in the trash. Then I am going to wash my hands, not because anything's on it, but they just feel gross. <laughs> you know, they, they feel all sweaty and stuff. So, but they should be, I mean, they're clean. 